All right, what up, gang? So I figured we'd test the new camera setup, the new Sigma 16 millimeter lens. This thing is big, it's all up in my face. I could barely even see the like drop down uh, screen as much as I used to with the smaller lens. Obviously with this being a heavier setup, it might shake, it might move a little bit more. So I gotta test it out and see how that goes. Anyways, I need to head to my box to pick up a, a package that was delivered to me. It's another tech package. 459. No, I don't want no car wash. Look, they always oh, trying to get the extra bag, bro. Just give me my 93. You're already finessing me on the 93 price. Man, it's nothing but gray skies today, but I, I kind of like these days sometimes. I don't like it raining, though, and getting wet. I do like it to rain because I like the air <sighs> to breathe in. Uh, shorts and the Yeezys, you dig? We, we in comf comfy, comfy mode. Um, I'm guessing about 40 bucks to get us there. Let's see. What y'all think, yeah? What y'all think? Uh, look where it's going right now. Oh, yeah, we got 40. Uh-oh. Boom. $43 flat. Hold up. I think the gas is a different price at this location other than the one up the street. Which is funny because they literally like a couple miles from each other. <laughs> Do we want a receipt? What y'all think, gang? Yes. <laughs> we logs our transactions. This is business, baby. We're running a business. Business right here. <laughs> Woo, hold up. Let me hit it with the hand, sanit hand sanitizer real quick. You know, listen. Hey, I don't care if they... Hey, look. Some of y'all dirty. Let me keep it a buck with y'all. Hold up. <laughs> you know what I mean? Some of y'all nasty. Y'all ain't been washing our hands for a long time. If anything that we didn't learn, the number one thing that we learned from all of this stuff that we just went through is the fact that a lot of y'all, a lot of y'all are nasty. Y'all don't wash your hands. Y'all rub your nose. Y'all touch stuff. And that's the reason why germs spread. If you sick, stay yo in the house. Simple as that. Now, let's finish our commute. Oh, my foot almost slipped off the pedal. Y'all heard that? Oh, hold up, Yeezys. We can't be in the supercar slipping off the pedal. Got the little Benzo. I ain't see what you in there. Oh, GLE. I ain't gonna lie. I like Benzes, man. I like I like what they offer to the driver. You know, luxurious experience. Like it's really nice. And then you got you know you it's AMG and not I for me on Benz. Got to get the AMG because you know I'm just trying to have fun driving while in luxury. You know, in comfortability. But because I I think that might be where we end up dancing around. It's like a a, a, a Beamer. A Benz, strongly probably to the Beamer gang, you guys. And then eventually like a Porsche or something. I would love to keep it all in the VW family. For those who don't know, VW owns Porsche. They own Lamborghini. Oh, so welcome to another episode in the car with CJ. Let's see if this is what I think it is. Oh yeah, it is. So this is a portable SSD. Um from HP, it's the P700. They only sent a player one terabyte. Player, do you know I shoot everything 4K? I need like a four terabyte. <laughs> Anyways, I just needed to test handheld shooting with this because if I could just do it all with this, the majority of the time, a lot of the times, then hey, this might be the all-in-one setup. There goes auto start stop. Like, it's just like, it, it's weird. It's like as if you were in a room where everyone's talking and then everyone just goes quiet. That's how it feels when you got auto start stop on on your car. Let me grab this micro, microfiber car because this uh, ND filter looking a little. <sighs> hey, don't worry. I brushed my teeth this morning. I promise y'all. And scrape the tongue. Y'all ain't scraping the tongue. You know what I mean? That's the other side too. You got to scrape the tongue. <laughs> All right, man. Now, I'm going to listen to some music, man. I get up with y'all. Peace. All right, y'all. So I got a package and I'm thinking about doing something. Now, I got carbon fiber mirror caps. If you didn't know that, I will run a video of me unboxing them. All right, so we got some, uh, I forgot what you call these things. Trim, like a trim kit for like removing trim. Oh, it comes with a trim tool, that's dope. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda wanna keep them wrapped up like this so that they stay looking good, but let's inspect the merchandise and make sure that everything is everything. So you guys can see that carbon fiber right there. You feel me? Boom. Uh, carbon fiber. Mirror caps, got the lane assist, cut out, and everything, baby. So there you have it. It looks good, though. 
Everything looks good. I just wanted to make sure that everything was in there and looking fire. And eventually you guys will see these carbon fiber mirror caps on the vehicle along with the new wrap and a bunch of other new dope things that are coming. And let me unbox this because this is something cool. I had someone ask me to record a zero to 60 in the Mach 8 Golf R. I'm like, you know what? I saw this product out there. I've seen people use it on their cars. A lot of you might know and have seen those videos with those stats. It's because of this, the draggy. Tomorrow, I wanna to try to launch it and get a zero to 60 for you guys. So, man, man I'm putting in work to get, give you guys a lot of the things that you guys are asking me for. All right, man, let me run outside real quick, man. I'm looking, hey, man, where my hat at, man? Oh, y'all just saw me scrubbing, hold up. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna take these carbon fiber mirror caps inside of here, these trim tools. We're gonna to go outside and see if we wanna give it a, a try or make an attempt. And then uh, I need to set up this draggy. All right, I'm not sure if you guys can see down in there, but I can see the left tab. It's like right there. And the other tab is easy to see if you point the mirror outward. Hold on. All right, gang, I'm going to tell you what I did. So they give you this trim tool along, if you buy the ones that I bought. I got them from um, Euro Tuning website. So that's where I got my carbon fiber. But the curvatures on this one makes it easier to get down behind the mirror. So I turned the mirror, like, let me show you my hand. I turned it like that. First I pulled it all the way down. Then I turned it like that. I got that tab off first. And then I turned it inward this way. And I got this tab, the second tab off. And now my mirror caps are loose, as you can see. And then we have that right there. So I had a flashlight in my hand and I kind of ended up scratching up the OEM mirror cap. That was my fault. Boom. Has a little tab on the bottom. Y'all see that right there? So I gotta figure that out. Lean it. Oh, there we go. Popped it out. So it looks like these pop in from that way. All right, boom. Get this to fit in there. There we go. Big side. Should just kind of snap right in. Bam. Smooth. Easy, too. Obviously, you want to connect this. The little tab that you squeeze goes on the bottom. Snap that back in. And then, let's try and... Let me go take a peek at Charles' video, Humble Mechanic, and see how he put them back on. All right, that sounded like it clipped in, to be honest. So let me get the mirror in position. All right, that's easy. Now let me shift the mirror. All right, I'm for sure on the tab. I'm pushing down on the tab. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Ooh, ooh, don't do that. Push down on this part right here to pull this blue, the connector. Really hard to get your finger under here and get a grip on it without this thing piercing into your finger. So it's just annoying. All right, there we go. Actually, so I found a better method is to go inward that way and then it pops. Boom, so you see? Going inward like this, get this to go snap in. After you get that, pull that in that way. As you can see, simple snap in, very easy. Boom, smooth. All right. Man, it'd be nice if they could design trim tools to just like click in so easy. You know what I mean? Falling on me. All right, gang. So we have our carbon fiber mirror caps installed. As you guys can see, we got the old ones, OEM ones right here chilling. And we got these on there. Um, honestly, after getting the gist of how to do it, it's an easy install. But when you first do it and you don't know what you're doing, it's not as easy. It's a little complex. I decided not to take off my glass and do it that way, which made it a little bit more, you know, iffy, but it came with the perfect trim tool. That orange trim tool you guys saw me using was perfect for this. Actually made the installation a lot easier. So I'll show you guys the other side. You guys can see carbon fiber. So now the Mach 8 just got that black on black look, but that's only until we wrap it. Yeah, I'm
from LA to the A On the run, you can tell where I stay at. Yeah. Counting all this paper, I chase no sleep 